Good afternoon and welcome to this year's staff recognition ceremony. 2020 marks the 29th time we've all gathered together as colleagues to recognize the work in Belmont's educators have done over the course of their careers. Now, in a normal year, we'd gather together in the cafeteria of BHS, enjoy some dessert prepared by our food services team, uh, and, po and present educators with a certificate, possibly a gift and maybe a physical show of our appreciation, a handshake, a pat on the back, or a hug. Um, but 2020 is no normal year, and we regret that we're not able to gather as we usually do to award the educators as we have in the past. Still, during this time of school closure, uh, the service of educators goes on, so it seems appropriate that our ceremony goes on too. It'll just look a little different. The honoring can happen today. The certificates, the gifts, and the hugs will have to wait. So we gather today to celebrate those educators celebrating 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and even 35 years of service to the children of Belmont. Now, that's no small feat. In a time of waning employer loyalty, furloughed workers, and a massive spike in national unemployment, we're fortunate to be able to gather today to celebrate loyalty, both our loyalty to the educators and their loyalty to the service, to servicing the students and family. We also celebrate their service and how appreciative we are to have them as part of our work family. So in total, this afternoon, we're gonna celebrate 46 individual educators from all six schools who collectively contributed a total of 1,095 years of educating Belmont's children. 1,095 years. So just to put that in perspective, that's 197,000 days of school are 4,728,000 lunches or lunch duty. Um, and it's probably 5 million individual Google Meets invitations. But that's probably just the last eight weeks of quarantine. So these educators fulfill a lot of roles. They're classroom teachers, professional aides, specialists, leaders, administrative assistants, members of the food service team, and even the network manager. They work in a lot of different places, in classrooms, in offices, and in cafeterias. And they've worked for many lengths of time. But whatever role they play, they all contribute to the larger mission of the Belmont Public Schools. So today we thank them for their contributions and especially for the length of those contributions to Belmont's children and their families. However you calculate it, it's an incredible amount of dedication, service and effort. And so today we're fortunate to be able to stop and say thank you and celebrate all of you for your exceptional loyalty. So to begin today's celebration in earnest, I'll ask John Sullivan, our superintendent of schools, to say a few words. I'm, I'm so glad I just got promoted to be BEA president because that's what I always wanted oh. to do. My name <laughs> is John Phelan, and I am the superintendent of the Belmont Public Schools. <laughs> and I gladly work in collaboration with the BEA president, John Sullivan, as we are here today to celebrate uh, all of our uh, faculty and staff who have provided years and years of service to the Belmont Public Schools. First of all, I hope that all of you are healthy, that you and your families stay well and are well uh, as we work through this COVID environment. This wonderful, wonderful event that we have each year uh, could not be uh, canceled because it's so important for us to recognize you, uh, the folks that work so hard in our organization, for our families, for our students, and with each other uh, during the course of the year. We miss you greatly. We wish you were in school every day. I wish I could go down to the cafeteria at the high school or walk into a third grade classroom at the Burbank or go into Marnie's class at the Butler and see good teaching and all the good things that happen. However, during these times, we need to be apart, but I'm glad we can do things like this that can bring us together just so we stay connected and continue to build great relationships. While we replicate this remotely, I know that I, we miss our live presentation together but we will hope to be together again next year when all is better and well. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mike and Judy 
uh, and Rebecca and Consuelo for all this work uh, that they put together to provide this event remotely. And I'd like to thank you, all of the faculty and staff of the Belmont Public Schools who are watching and respecting and honoring a colleague and to each of the colleagues recognized today, whether it's 10 years or someone who's here for 35 years who I met with this morning, um, congratulations, thank you. We appreciate your work. We're glad to work with you each day and we can't wait to get that back together in person again. So thank you, Mike, uh, and thank you to everyone. And I'd like to introduce Dr. Judy Malone Neville, who will introduce our 10 year employees. Thank you very much, John. I, I'm recognizing and appreciating our colleagues who have offered 10 years of service to the children and other colleagues at Belmont Public Schools. Benita Adhikari Padel. Kristen Bell. Megan Connors. Lindsay DeBello. Lindy Delorio, Anthony DiColagero, Kimberly Miller, Danielle Pendolfo, Deanna Peterson, Randy Sosin, Nicholas Von Hume. Congratulations. And now I'd like to introduce John Sullivan, who will be congratulating our colleagues with 15 years of service. Good afternoon. It's an honor to introduce the names of those Belmont educators who are celebrating 15 years of service to the children of Belmont. Jessica Ames Alecki. Amy Baxter. Vanessa Bullard. Kathleen Calhoun. Justin Chu, Ada Colachia, La, Kristen Comment, Jennifer Duffy, Lisa Herdemies, Maureen Lenoir, David Lerner, Mary McDonald, Kendra Nianzi, Lauren O'Brien, Lindsay Rinder, Sharon Rossi, Jennifer Sims, Stephen Tenner, Adam Zokowski. Congratulations to everyone. Hi, this is Janice Darius, and I'm very happy to be here to uh, congratulate our honorees with 20 years of service. James Brown, Rebecca El Gamel, Kathy Grant, Rebecca Green, Carla Hawkins, Donna Hubbard, Benjamin Ligon, Michael McAllister, Nicole Nitchie. Deborah Patty, Jennifer Pressy, Joseph Quinn, Jocelyn Record, Philip Sullivan, Sherry Turner, and Deborah Viglarolo. Thank you to Superintendent Phelan for his remarks, to Dr. Judy Malone Neville, to John Sullivan, to Janice Darius for their help with today's ceremony. For those educators celebrating the 25, 30, and 35 years uh, milestones of service, we asked their direct supervisors to say a few brief words to honor their efforts over such a significant amount of time. We'll start with those educators celebrating 25 years, and we'll begin with Danielle Bettencourt, principal of the Butler Elementary School. My first remarks are in celebration of Audrey Ruddock. Of all of our current staff, Audrey Ruddock has the longest connection to the Butler School. She is one of a special group of teachers 
who was actually once a student here herself and can tell you stories about when she was here in kindergarten. She then sent her own children to the Butler School and returned to her beloved alma mater as an aide in kindergarten in 1995. In July 2001, she became a kindergarten teacher and has continued caring for and teaching kindergartners ever since. Imagine that when she welcomed her first class of kindergartners, she had to guide them through the events of September 2001. And this year, when she welcomes her 20th class of kindergartners, she will again be shepherding a group of youngsters through a challenging time. With all of her years of experience and the depth of her care for children, she will once again find ways to ensure they have a good year. As one parent whose child is struggling, she recently shared that Audrey has continued to connect and support this little learner. Mom wrote, this personal touch from Ms. Ruddock amid all the other duties and challenges before her have made all the difference for my daughter. She has shown the true heart of a teacher who seeks to reach each student where they are despite distance, technological challenges, and even a pandemic. When I reached out to former and current students, these are the words the children offer to describe Audrey. Kind, considerate, helpful, nice, and very cool. A few had some messages. Thank you so much for teaching me, and I love Mrs. Ruddick. Some things that I particularly appreciate about Audrey are her sense of humor, the enthusiasm she shows when inviting me in to see what our wonderful kindergartners are learning, her courage to try new things, the kindness she shows in dropping by to check in, and most of all, her love of Twizzlers. Audrey, congratulations, I've missed you and I'm dropping these off later. The next educator we are celebrating is Marnie Wolf. Marnie's connection to the Butler School has lasted, lasted over two and a half decades. She began her edu educational career as a student teacher in Newton, working alongside Donna McDonald, the spouse of former longtime Butler principal, Bruce McDonald. She was then hired by Mr. McDonald as a professional aide at the Butler School for two years, after which she became a kindergarten teacher for one year and then settled into her current position as a second grade teacher, which she has held for 22 years. She has spent a good deal of time on professional development over the years, including research for better teaching and six traits courses, foundations and letters, models, module three trainings, and graduate coursework in differentiated instruction, to name just a few. She has also developed bonds with fellow teachers who describe her as compassionate, loyal, dedicated, funny, quick-witted, and willing to help in any capacity. One in particular stated, she's very fair-minded and has become a strong advocate for her colleagues, new and old, thinking about the greater good for staff by working on union committees. Her colleagues know she can be counted on as a source for the latest movie, Netflix series, and movie star news. I know I myself have personally benefited from her recommendation of, Seat Geek, of the SeatGeek app, which I look forward to using when we can go to concerts again. Thanks, Marnie. She has touched the lives of nearly 500 children. When I reached out to former and current students, these are the words the children offer to describe Marnie. Very kind, nicest teacher ever, helpful, enthusiastic, exciting, fun, smart. One child described her as bright, and I will conclude with the poem he dedicated to Marnie. It's called, Happy Day. I was filled with happiness when I walked into the room. Her smile is brighter than a polar bear's fur. This is my favorite year. Congratulations on 25 years with the Belmont Public Schools, Marnie. Now to introduce his colleagues who are celebrating their 25 year milestone, I will ask Dustin O'Brien, the Director of Food Services to say a few words. Thank you, Danielle. Good afternoon, everyone. To echo the prior presenters, I hope everyone is faring well in these times and looking forward to seeing you all again soon. Today, I'm here to speak on two incredible individuals, Armini Fringen and Ani Kalijian. First off, we'd like to offer a warm congratulations to Armini on her milestone accomplishment with the Food Services Department. Armini spent the first six years of her career as a cafeteria worker. She was consistently recognized by her colleagues as a leader with strong organization and operational skills. Because of this, she was promptly promoted to head cook in 2001. Running the, running the daily operations of a kitchen serving a school of over 1,400 students, 
comes with its challenges, and Armini handles those with grace. A head cook requires poise, attention to detail, and making the right decisions in a high-pressure environment, all qualities that Armini possesses. She always puts the needs of the students first, which is what makes her a standout team member. Over the last several years, we've worked closely on new concept, and her input was paramount in equipment replacement and serving line changes. In our operation, we use a multitude of metrics to measure a day's success, but one simple trick at BHS is, how long is the lunch line today? On a serious note, Armini is a well-respected member of the BHS community and a common thread in the growth in meal participation. She can often be found chatting with some of her favorite faculty, setting up a catering event, or helping a new student navigate the serving line. Two years ago, Principal Brow presented Armini with the Model Marauder Award, which is given to a faculty member demonstrating a willingness to innovate and act on new ideas. When her coll colleagues were asked to describe her, words like compassionate, hardworking, thoughtful were all in the mix. Her hard work will continue to benefit our community, and I thank Armini for her years of dedication. The students and faculty of Belmont High School are very lucky to have you. Moving on to, we're gonna to segue to another superstar in Ani Collegian. There's so many special things about you, Ani. As our head cashier, you have trained all the incoming staff to be proficient in the management of daily transactions and customer service. Ani also spearheaded our transition from an outdated lunch ticket system to the current POS computer software. We often refer to the high school kitchen as a real life soap opera titled As the Tray Slides. On a lighter note, in the early 2000s, Ani comfortably managed a student's attempt to pass counterfeit bills through the register. One of the many things we see, but unfortunately we can't go into further detail there. Clearly your position is not easy. Each morning you are the first point of contact for many children as they arrive early to grab breakfast before starting their day. You are dealing with hungry, or some would say hangry students who have limited time to get through the lunch line and eat. You greet each one of them with a warm smile and help them as needed. Assistant Food Service Director Gail Milani mentions, I've seen many seniors come in to say a special goodbye to you. They acknowledge and thank you for your kindness during your tenure at BHS, or their tenure at BHS. Ani's colleagues consider her easy to work with and she always has a smile on. She has always provided guidance and wisdom to each of them. Her impact goes beyond the cafeteria, as on a recurring basis, many outside event holders ask for Ani by name, as they appreciate her attitude and competence for running events. For those reasons and many more, you've been an essential part of the organization's journey and success. We are most grateful for the dedication and passion you have shown. Cheers to all of your amazing years. Happy 25th anniversary to both. I will now pass it off to Heidi Pazner, the principal of Wellington Elementary, to say a few words. Thank you, Dustin. It is my pleasure to speak about two of my colleagues, Bev Harper and Nick Radel. First, Bev Harper. One day in December, I ripped the sleeve of one of my favorite sweaters. I loved that sweater and was sad when I came to the unfortunate conclusion that I would have to throw it away. That was until Bev got involved. She heard about my problem, took my sweater, and masterfully repaired its sleeve. That's the type of person Bev is always thinking about others and continually performing acts of kindness for those around her. Bev is truly dedicated to making the world a better place, not through big and loud gestures, but instead through quiet and selfless acts of giving. Bev has worked at the Wellington School since 1995. During her tenure in Belmont, she has worked with students with a range of special needs, always exhibiting love and compassion towards her learners and a high level of dedication to her work. This year, she supports a second grade boy. The classroom teacher with whom she works remarked that Bev is successful because she is, quote, real and just knows what kids want. She explained that Bev is always looking for ways to help without being asked. Before the closure, I often saw Bev and the student she supports walking through the halls, smiling, chatting, and truly enjoying each other's company. Bev brings joy and purpose to her work with children and is dedicated to the students and staff around her. She is the first person to send a card to someone who needs a smile and goes out of her way to check on a colleague who may be going through a hard time. She is also a leader in our work to make our school more green. She shares her passion for the environment with students and staff and truly practices what she preaches, 
regularly identifying ways to increase our recycling efforts and suggesting methods to reduce waste. Bev, congratulations for your 25 years of service. Thank you for sharing your kindness and passion with our community and for always making us smile. It is now my pleasure to talk about Yika Radel. I love talking to Yika about our school library. And then the first minute of the conversation, it becomes immediately clear how committed she is to every aspect of it. Yika has worked in the Wellington Library since 1995, when I was told she opened the library almost single-handedly. At Wellington, as well as at Winbrook and Butler, where she brings her talent, the words library and Yika are almost synonymous. It is known throughout the district that Yika loves not only the books, the collections, and the structure of the library itself, but also the students who visit it each week. As Rose, her fellow library aide accounts, Yitka lights up when she reads books to first graders and the students respond immediately to her enthusiasm. Yitka knows every book in the collection and as Rose reports, remembers students' requests for genres from one week to the next, which allows her to match any reader with an appropriate title. She is constantly thinking about ways to find new books to make our library more culturally responsive and to expand our collection. She advocates for ways to improve the library and together with Rose is an exceptional bargain shopper, often finding books to prices I can't believe actually exist. Although too modest to brag about them, Nika has a range of talents. She is an expert in Slavic languages, having published and lectured at the college level, has a deep knowledge about a range of academic to topics, has traveled extensively, extensively and is a loving mother and grandmother. Yika is also dedicated to our school community. She is our unit DBEA representative and through that role, not only supports her colleagues, but encourages them to demonstrate their best selves to each other and to their students. Yitka, thank you for 25 years of supporting young readers in, in, and for encouraging students throughout the district to grow in their love of literature. Congratulations. To introduce his colleagues who are celebrating 20, their 25 year milestone, it's my pleasure to introduce Celie Oki, the principal of the Mary Lee Burbank School to say a few words. Thank you, Heidi. It is my honor to speak about Linda, Linda Moranian. She's being honored today for her work in Belmont over the past 25 years. Linda's work as a professional aide at the Burbank School has allowed her to take part in many models of support. Regardless of how the professional aid position has been conceived over her two and a half decades, Linda has been a steadfast and reliable support for students and teachers alike. In Linda's very first year in Belmont, she was hired to support two second grade Burbank classrooms, which were experiencing very high enrollment. In her early years, she worked in a supportive role to all students in the classroom and went when help was needed. In that role and in those that followed, Linda shared her love of mathematics and with her students and took particular pleasure in helping them with their math work. Her passion and enthusiasm for that subject inspires and encourages students who often struggled to master it. After several years of providing general support, Linda began to work individually with students with special needs. During this period, she supported students with academic, organizational, and behavioral needs. In 2008, this experience was put to good use when the Autism Inclusion Program began at Burbank. In 2015, Linda became Burbank's floating aide, filling a wide variety of needs across the schools and grades. For the past five years, she has assisted both children and teachers by covering, covering work with students to their professional aides so that they can take a lunch break, working with the whole class while the teachers attend meetings and filling in whenever and wherever she is needed to keep the gears of the Burbank running smoothly for all. In her time as a professional aide, Linda has worked in every one of our kindergarten through fourth grade classrooms. She is known for her unwavering reliability and her determination to support teachers and students alike. Linda is always ready to help. Linda's willingness to support her colleagues reaches beyond the classroom as well. For many years, she has served as the chief financial officer of the Burbank Cheery Committee. In that role, she acts as the voice and heart of the entire staff to console and celebrate Burbank's educators in times of grief and joy. We are all grateful for Linda's steadfast support. Thank you to Danielle, to Dustin, to Heidi, and to Celia. 
for your kind words on behalf of those educators celebrating 25 years. We'll next honor those educators celebrating a 30 year milestone to the service of the children in Belmont. And we'll return to Celia Oki, principal of the Burbank School for that. Thank you, Mike. Today, we recognize Ann Burnt for her 30 years of service in Belmont, but her connection to Belmont and Burbank in particular runs even longer and deeper. Ann began her career in Belmont's public schools at Wellington from 1987 to 1989. She was then working as an aide in a class for individualized instruction. After a short hiatus, she then started working at Burbank as a professional aide in September of 1992. She was hired by Art Bush, a beloved principal, who had been the principal to, teach, to each of her three sons, all of whom attended Burbank and, and started her employment after her youngest had finished at Burbank the June before. While her boys attended Burbank, she was, a very act, she was very active in the PTA as a parent, and she served as chair of the Belmont School Arts Council for 10 years. Anne always tells the story of when her son came home from his first day of kindergarten in Colleen Cox's class. Anne asked him how he liked kindergarten. He said he liked it well enough, but that he was done and didn't need to go back. She always tells the story with a laugh and a smile to thinking how well educated all three of her boys are and how far they've all gone. Anne has enjoyed the benefit of teaming with many of Burbank's wonderful teachers, some of whom she has worked for for several years over time. She has often been assigned to assist a particular student and she considers that the purest form of education because of the ability to address specific needs so directly. She worked with two individual students from first grade through fourth grade consecutively and remains in touch with both of them. Anne has developed meaningful relationships at Burbank. Her students come to love her and the support she provides them. Her cooperating teachers hold her in the highest regard and are always impressed by her dedication to the students whom she has assigned to, as well as her love of working with the remaining students in each class, either collectively or individually. Anne is a lover of words and writing and is always happy to contribute her special interest in that sub those subjects to the classes of which she has become such an integral part. She is also well known to the faculty as our editor emeritus and is frequently sought to review and edit our written work. Anne's role at Burbank is marked with deep relationships and the joy of learning. We thank her for her service. See, we're gonna ask you to do uh, Brenda Johnson next, who's also celebrating 30 years. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> All right, Brenda Johnson is also being recognized for 30 years of service in the Belmont Public Schools. Brenda began her teaching in kindergarten, where she became the first third class at the Burbank. Before her arrival, Burbank had only two classes per grade level, and of course, has now expanded to four sections at each grade level. Brenda served Burbank's youngest students for 27 of the past 30 years before moving to first grade, only three years ago. That transition highlighted Brenda's approach to learning for her students and for herself. As one of her new first grade colleagues noted, Brenda is a very hardworking teammate and her never ending desire to learn more and try new things has always amazed me. When Brenda moved to first grade from kindergarten a couple of years ago, she hit the ground running and was always thinking of new ideas, strategies and resources that our team hadn't used before. I have always been impressed with her energy and curiosity to learn and do more, even after so many years of teaching. Not many people would decide to switch grades after 20 plus years of teaching and to do so with such enthusiasm and dedication. She brings so much to our first grade team. We would definitely not be where we are as a team without her. Brenda, it seems, lives Burbank's value of creating lifelong learners by being one herself. Brenda's innovation and drive to improve is highlighted in her work to support her students. She seeks the assistance of her team and our support staff and her principal as a natural extension of her classroom but she always leads the charge, having left no stone unturned to find the resources and strategies to remove obstacles for her young learners. Even after 30 years, Brenda is always seeking opportunities to improve her teaching practices. And while Brenda's main concern is her students, she has also been a pillar of support for her colleagues. She has brought her experience and expertise to various district improvement efforts, most recently the science steering and staff development committees. But I would suggest that her greatest work of late has been as a mentor to new, often young teachers. One told me, 
Brenda is a passionate and dedicated teacher who pours her heart and soul into all that she does. She is always willing to make time to meet with other teachers, share her perspective, and offer guidance. She's a wonderful teacher, colleague, mentor, and friend. Brenda's work to support a new generation of teachers just starting their careers will surely be a highlight of her legacy. Thank you, Brenda, for everything you have done for Burbank and Belmont. Thanks, Cecilia, for those kind words on behalf of Anne and Brenda. Uh, and congratulations to those celebrating that 30 year milestone. We'll next honor one educator who's celebrating a 35 years of service to the children of Belmont. And we will once again return to Celia Oki, principal of the Burbank, Burbank Elementary School, to say a few words about Colleen Cox. Thank you, Mike. Finally, it is my honor and privilege to speak in recognition of Colleen Cox. Colleen has been teaching kindergarten at the Burbank School for 35 years. An amazing feat on its own, but what's more, she has spent, spent each of those 35 years in the very same classroom. In her time at Burbank, Colleen has taught many of the children of her former students. Parents of current Burbank students often and without solicitation expressed to me that their child's success and love of learning was sparked by the time, their time spent with Colleen. And it's not difficult to understand why. Colleen's love and passion for teaching young children is evident every day in her classroom. Her focus has always been on the whole child through appropriate and developmental learning experiences and as such, she's a great believer in the importance and power of imaginative play as an educational force. In th her 35 years, Colleen has witnessed a great deal of change. She has worked under five principals, of which I count myself to be lucky to be the fifth. Colleen has observed the pendulum of educational theory and practice swing back and forth many times, and her colleagues enjoy her story about how teachers were at one time allowed to smoke in the teacher's room. That is a practice I, for one, am glad we are rid of and hopeful we will never see again. Colleen has not only demonstrated her commitment to her students, but to her colleagues as well. She has served on a variety of district-wide committees, including several to develop curriculum. She advocates for her fellow educators through her service on both the Burbank and District Joint Management Labor teams. She fills one of Burbank's teacher-in-charge positions to create and manage our student supervision before and after school, and in that capacity, has taken charge of the effort to ensure that students get safely to and from school on the Metco and recently instituted Belmont bus. At the start of the year, Colleen's commitment to the well-being of students and teachers alike was demonstrated by her decision to join the children and ride the bus several mornings and afternoons. She helped troubleshoot the issues students were having and reported back to classroom teachers and parents to ensure that all were happy and safe. Colleen has never shied away from a challenge. She recently expressed to me that the most rewarding moments of her career had been those that seemed most difficult at the moment. She has had the privilege of teaching so many of Burbank students in their formative years, but feels that working with students and families with the deepest needs and most challenging circumstances have given her the most satisfaction and fulfillment. We thank you, Colleen, for all you have done for the Belmont community. Thank you, Celie, again for your kind words on behalf of Colleen. I want to thank all the district, school, and union leaders for taking part in today's ceremony. I also want to thank those members of the Belmont School Committee who were able to uh, join us virtually today. Additionally, I'd like to thank those Belmont educators who are live streaming this ceremony from home to watch your colleagues and friends celebrate such an important milestone of service. Before we finish, I want to send a special thank you to Consuelo and Rebecca from our central office for their help organizing today's event and moving what has traditionally been an in-person event into a virtual online format. Their work behind the scenes troubleshooting technology, communicating to everyone, and keeping track of the smallest details are both recognized and appreciated. So thank you to you both. Most of all, I want to thank and congratulate those educators who are honored today. While we wish we could have honored you in person, we're thrilled that you would join us today anyways. We're honor we honor your service and look forward to celebrating your next milestone as a member of the Belmont Public Schools family. So thank you. This concludes today's staff recognition ceremony. Thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of the day.